A hearty meal to add to the deer camp menu. R3 coordinator Kayla Bendel shares this Michigan originated venison pasty recipe that won't disappoint. I'm Mike Anderson with the North Dakota Game and Fish Department. Today we're going to make venison pasties. The pasty originates from the UP of Michigan, um, but it's very similar to like a hand pot pie or a hot pocket or even like an empanada. So in order to make the filling for these, you're going to need a pound of ground venison or some other ground meat of your choice. You could also, if you choose, use chunked up venison, um, but we're going to use ground venison. Then you're going to want onion, carrots, potatoes. Traditionally it would have a rutabaga too, but I'm not a big fan, so that's optional butter, uh, I'm gonna add in some garlic, and then for seasonings, just salt and pepper and garlic powder. And then the egg here is for an egg wash to put on top of the actual pockets before you put them in the oven. You're also going to need some pie crust, and so you can kind of, I'll leave that up to you, whether you wanna purchase pie crust or make your own uh, pie crust recipe. Um, I tried one today for these that uses lard, but you can also use Crisco or butter or your preferred pie crust recipe. So first here, we're gonna peel the potatoes, then dice them up. You're gonna wanna dice them pretty small because they're gonna go in this pocket, so you don't want a big cube. Dice up the carrots and the onion. So then we're just gonna mix our ground meat with the carrots, potatoes, and onions, and then add in our garlic and seasonings and mix it all up for our pasty filling. Now that you have your mixture made, you need to roll out your pie dough. Again, this pie, re pie dough recipe was lard, water, flour, and salt. Um, you can also buy pie dough if you want. That doesn't fly in my household. Um, or Crisco or butter, whatever your pie crust recipe is. You're gonna make a chunk about the size of like a tennis ball. Um, roll it out to about seven or eight inches and then we'll fill the pockets and fold them in half. Put some butter in there too and seal it up. So then you're gonna fill your pockets with the meat mixture and then I like to add just like a half tablespoon or a tablespoon of butter in there too. Fold them in half and then seal them up. And then you have your pasty. Last step before we put these in the oven is to crack an egg, scramble it, add about a tablespoon of water to make an egg wash, and we'll brush that on the pasties. After we brush the egg wash on these, you're gonna put them in the oven for 45 minutes at 350, and then turn the oven up to 425 and let them cook 15 more minutes. So it's about an hour total, um, and you just turn that temp up for the last 15 minutes. After they've cooked for an hour, you can let them cool and then you have your venison pasty.